Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, October 2nd, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across bagel choices. Well, there's a lot of options here. Sesames would fit. Poppies would fit too. Hmm. I wonder if we can get something short on the downs. That would help a lot. Floor support? Hmm. I don't think this is going to be about the floor underneath your living room. I think maybe this is going to be about the floor in Congress. Maybe it could be a yay, because that's how you vote when you're supporting something, right? Uh, does that help on the bagels at all? Not really. That Y is looking very weird, actually. Hmm. Within prefix. Well, um, I think endo is a prefix that means within, right? Like an endoskeleton? Leave a mark. I guess it could be scar. I think it should begin with an S because this is choices plural, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe it is scar. Can we get this one? Cafe du Blanc. Landmark shop in New Orleans, French Quarter. Hmm, I've never been to New Orleans before. Yeah, let's take a look at these acrosses here. How a first date is experienced. It almost looks like it ends in once, doesn't it? Um, is it only once? Hmm, is yay wrong? Huh, I guess maybe it's I. The eyes have it. Interesting. I thought it was yay or nay. Weird. I wonder why it's I instead of yay. Maybe when you're like seconding a motion or something, you might say I. Yeah, that could be. Ooh, that is so tricky. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's looking pretty good for only once. Heavy hitter. It's not a slugger, right? Hmm. Bring to a boil. This is probably figuratively bringing someone to a boil. You could enrage someone, right? Yeah, okay. Great news, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Penalty for a polluter. That should be a green tax, I think, right? Maybe it's ento instead of endo. I think that's okay. Hmm. Sprout. Is this a verb or is it a noun? Hmm. Student in College Station, Texas. Is this Aggie again? I guess maybe Texas A&M is in College Station, Texas. Yeah, that's funny that showed up again, okay. Judge could be deem, maybe. Yeah, that could be a verb. This could also be a verb or a noun. Um, maybe this is so glad. I guess this is a response to someone sharing good news. Ooh, again, very tricky. Sprout, hmm. I don't know what this is talking about. Hmm, heavy hitter. Maybe this is a sledge, like a sledgehammer. And then this is a lad. Yeah, it's like a slang term for a young person. <laughs> oh man, so this was a noun, not a verb. And then this did turn out to be a sesame bagel. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. I wanna say it's mont, maybe? I have seen the word mont in French before. I don't know what it means. Maybe it's mountain? Yeah. Pearl Harbor hero for whom a future U.S. aircraft carrier is scheduled to be named. Oh, man. Um, well, let's put that T in there. I don't know who this is going to be. T-O-R. Hmm. Canned lines, and this is wordplay. Hmm. So this is not about lines that you have pre-prepared as, like, responses. Canned lines, hmm. Boy, I don't know where the wordplay is here. Maybe we can build up from here? 
How are you supposed to pronounce this? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, is this disagreeing or agreeing? I can't tell. I think it should be agreeing. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. Um, or maybe it's not. <laughs> this is so weird. Is it I'm good? That would be saying uh-uh, right? I don't think this H should be in here. That's so weird. Okay. Accords, e.g.? Hmm. This could be about agreements, or it could be about Honda. They make a car called the Accord, right? Maybe it is Honda. Yeah, Honda's plural. Let's see. Um... Hmm. I'm home? I have no idea what this is gonna be. Pair seen three times in All's Well That Ends Well. Hmm, is this gonna be a tricky clue too? I think it is, because I think they're talking about the title of the play itself. Um, so there's three pairs of L's, right? So this has to be L's. All right, so it's not Honda's? Okay. I think it's Honda that makes the Accord. So maybe it is about agreements. Hmm. What's this short down here? Like the years of most presidential inaugurations. Well, elections are usually in even numbered years, so I guess the inaugurations would be in odd numbered years. Okay. Definitely not Hondas. Props for some plays? More wordplay. Props. So it's not about props in a theater play. Maybe this is about props as in plaudits for some plays. Um, is it about ovations? What could this be? Maybe it's Obies. OB is the award for off-Broadway shows. Yeah, that was so hard. <laughs> very, very tricky. Okay, quick fix. Is that just a Band-Aid? Yeah, it seems suspiciously straightforward. Okay. Um, oh, it is still talking about the Honda Accord, but it's not asking for the make of the car. It's asking for the type of the car. It's a sedan. Yeah. Okay, we were so close. Okay, so it's not I'm good. Uh-uh. Hmm. Boy, <laughs> this is so baffling to me. Okay. Goes bad? It's not rots? What's this long across here? Ate the last cookie, say. Hmm. Ate the last cookie. LD, that's a little odd. Hmm. Intensify? I wonder if that's deepen? Yeah. Mini albums for short? I think you would call those EPs, right? Those only have a few tracks on them? Yeah. Blows a gasket? <laughs> We've got Enrage and Blows a gasket. Um, maybe it sees red? <laughs> We've got some angry people on the puzzle today. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What's the big deal? Another wordplay clue. What's the big deal? Hmm. Big deal. Is it about like a big business deal? Item of prison contraband. Hmm. What are you not allowed to have in prison? Like a cell phone, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Allow blank? Oh, man. Um, I want to say that's one of the possible spellings of the person that developed Taoism. Um, yeah, I think maybe that's right. Hopefully the goose can correct me if I'm way off on that one. Date you might not put on the calendar. They're not talking about the date, the fruit, right? Hmm, what other kind of date is there? Interesting. Awkward. <laughs> and this is a bracket clue. We've got a lot of experience with bracket clues after this Thursday's puzzle. So this needs to be some kind of nonverbal thing that communicates something awkward. Um, maybe it's cringe? Yeah. If you cringe, 
that's a nonverbal way of saying that you find something awkward. Yeah. Okay, the Godfather actor. Oh, um, I think they're probably talking about James Caan, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Hmm. Still didn't help too much here. Did we get any help here? Ooh, yeah. It's starting to look like couldn't resist, right? Because it's kind of rude to eat the last cookie, but you do it anyway. Okay, couldn't resist. Very good. All right, do we have enough help on this long down? Canned lines. Yeah, oh my god, this is such fun wordplay. Okay, so these are lines that you would say after you got canned, after you got fired. It would be an exit interview, right? <laughs> There's been some really nice wordplay on today's puzzle. Yeah. Some bags in boxes. Bags in boxes. It seems like it's plural. So what could this be? Is it teas? Like you'd have tea bags in boxes? They're sold in boxes, right? Okay. Hmm. This is starting to look like a name, kind of. Is it Tori something? I don't think it's Tori spelling. Hmm. Most Best Picture winners? That's gotta be dramas, right? Yeah, comedies don't usually win Best Picture. Info on a medicine bottle? I think that should be dosage. Blank data? It's not coup data? Um, I guess this means of the state, right? Uh, I don't know. I guess it could be raison, maybe? Like, purpose of the state? I haven't seen that phrase before. I've seen raison d'etre, reason for existing. And I've seen coup d'etat, I'm just kind of smushing them together. Uh, maybe this is oases again, if my guess is right. Refueling spot. It could be oasis, yeah. Ah, I wonder if we guessed that right. Window part? That should be a sill, right? Oh my god, I think we actually managed to do that. That's amazing, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess my best guess is the purpose of the state is what that means. But yeah, of course the goose can correct me if I'm off on that one. Invariably? Hmm. As a rule is too short. Hmm. Biased could be a slant if you're leaning one way over the other. As a something seems okay. Yeah, I definitely don't think I've seen this name before. Lapped EG? I guess if you're talking about like track, like if you're running laps, um, you would have gone past someone if you lapped them. Yeah, okay. One in the running? Somebody that has gone past someone else? Um, I guess that could be an entrant. Yeah, okay. Is this just gonna be Taurus Miller? Taurus Miller? Hmm, this is looking very suspicious. Maybe this is Mond instead of Mont. Um, so what would that make this? Cafe of the Earth? Because Mond is the Earth, right? Like Le Mond. Okay, so maybe it's Doris Miller. That sounds more like a real name, okay. Um, that would give us an L. Invariably, hmm, what is this? Oh, a tryst, yeah, because it's secret. You wouldn't want to put your secret tryst on the calendar. Yeah, okay. Um, huh, New Deal program for short. Wasn't that the WPA, Works Progress Administration? As always, there we go, okay. This looks like it's gonna be, I'm sure, uh-huh. I guess like kind of a sarcastic response, like you don't really believe someone. Okay, that does make sense. Okay, I can see why they spelled it this way. <laughs> I was going a little hard on this clue, but I think it's fine. Okay. Goes bad, could be sours. Lawn game seen regularly on ESPN beginning in 2017. I really hope this is cornhole. Yeah, that's so funny. I've seen videos of like professional cornholers 
they get the beanbag in the hole every single time. It's unbelievable. Yeah, okay. Big name in Deco. Ooh, is this like an artist? Um, hmm. I feel like I should know this, but nothing's coming to mind. Screams over. Oh man, maybe you're trying to scream over someone else that's talking? Could it be out something? Out shout? <laughs> I don't know about that. Alaskan King EG? Alaskan. Is it about like a king crab? At least one. At least one. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is asking for. Like mysterious matters often or hotels. Hmm. That's interesting. So there's going to be something that these two things have in common. Huh. Or hotels. Interesting. Cigarette that's assembled by hand informally. Oh man, what do you call that? Is it a rolly? I want to say maybe that's right. Filers of amicus briefs often. Amicus briefs. Hmm. Does this have something to do with the Supreme Court? I wonder. It's plural. It might be an S here. I don't know. Feel it the next day. Uh, this is about being achy or sore. Hmm. Feel it the next day. Muse of history? Oh boy. Is this about an actual, like, Greek muse? Hmm. Lift user? Lift user. This is not LYFT. Maybe this is talking about the British term for an elevator? Lift user. Huh. It's not Brit. I don't know. What's the big deal? Is it cards? Because cards get dealt in card games? Maybe. Oh, geez. Prison contraband is definitely a shiv. Yeah, you definitely are not allowed to have a shiv. Okay. Posers are forever saying it. <laughs> so this is not about posers that are trying to be something they're not. This is people posing for a photograph. They say cheese. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, this is not a Brit. Lift user. Is it about like lifts in your shoes? Hmm. Very weird. Hmm. I'm not sure. We ran out of steam in this corner a little bit. I want this square to be an A. I have a feeling this name starts with an A. I'm not sure what goes here though. Is this an A? Hmm. Maybe this is out yells, yeah. We were talking about it being shouting over someone else, right? Is it art? I don't know. At least one could be any. This has got to be like a T, an S, or a C, something like that. This being two A's seems weird though. Maybe it's an E? Maybe it's a C crab, there we go. It did end up being a crab. Ert? I don't think I knew this name. Yeah, this seems new to me. Okay. Um, maybe this is allies? Interesting. Yeah, okay. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Hopefully our resident legal expert, the Goose will fill us in. So what is this? Be sore? Yeah, okay. Is this Cleo? I guess that's probably what the Clio Awards are named after. Interesting, okay. A lift user is a skier, yeah, like a chairlift, okay. Checked into, ah, very good, very clever, okay. TV series with Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs. <laughs> I have no idea, is it NCIS? That's gonna be my guess. Something you might watch with your parents. Hmm. You might watch with your parents. I'm not sure where this is going. Cost effective could be economic. That's good, okay. 
place to get a cab. <laughs> this is not a taxi cab. This is about Cabernet, the wine. Um, so maybe it's a wine shop? Hmm. It's not a winery. A wine club? I'm not sure how it's going to end. <laughs> you might watch your tone with your parents. That's so funny. That's such a devious little misdirection. I love it. Okay. Painter with a famous garden. Is it Monet? It's kind of looking like it, right? Let's see if that helps. Goes gently to the bottom. Huh. It starts with set? Leftover morsel is probably an ort. This is a very rare word that means a small little bit of food, yeah. Maybe this is settles, yeah. Like the sediment might settle in wine. Um, wine, and it starts with R? Maybe a wine rack. Yeah, I like that CK. That's good, okay. The hare, but not the tortoise. <laughs> okay, it's not about being faster. It's about being a mammal. Okay, one way to serve chili. It's not on ice, right? Is it on rice? Do people have chili on rice? I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Doctor's order. Could be an MRI, maybe. Like the open MRI on yesterday's puzzle. Was serious about. Could be mint. And this has to be GMOs, I guess. Subjects of the 2018 book Seeds of Science, for short. Yeah. And that gives us Nowheresville with the, the sticks. Yeah, that's a fun piece of language. All right, let's throw that S in there and see if that does it for us. Nice. That felt like a very brisk time for a Saturday. Um, but boy, it wasn't like it was an easy puzzle. There was a lot of really nice misdirection and ambiguous clues. Something like this, Sprout for Lad, that's very hard. And this one too, something you might watch with your parents. You have to watch your tone. I love that clue. That is just so clever. And this, there's just so much misdirection. Place to get a cab for Cabernet, wine rack. Yeah, I love that kind of thing. This puzzle was just chock full of really good cluing. This one too, Accords, another very nice ambiguous clue there. Trist was funny also, I loved this one. I think the highlight of the puzzle for me though was this intersection of these two wordplay clues here. Exit interview for canned lines. That really deserves the kind of pride of place it has in the center of the grid here. That's fantastic. And then crossing props for some plays for Obies is also really good. That is so difficult. Yeah, it's just the perfect kind of wordplay clue for Saturday. All right. Looks like we couldn't resist solving yet another devilishly tricky Saturday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.